Hello, my name is Kent Carey from the Waikato Rugby Union. Welcome to the 2012 season. To start the season off, we're going to talk about Waikato Rugby Sevens, and to help me do that is Sevens manager David Fox. Welcome, Foxy. Pleasure to be here, Kent. And also Sevens stalwart and veteran, Ryan Mitchum. Thanks for having me. Hey, Foxy, we'll start with you, mate. Explain the Sevens campaign to me. Uh, we, pick a, we pick a squad in November, Kent, uh, usually two teams of about 20 players. Um, then we head off in uh, early December off to the uh, Black 28 Sevens up in Auckland. We're basically a hit out uh, for ourselves. Uh, there's usually sides like Northland, North Harbour, Bay of Plenty and Auckland involved. Following that tournament we cut our squad down to uh, 14. Uh, those 14 lads are uh, pretty well, uh, they sacrificed their summer uh, to train for Sevens and prepare for the Bay of Plenty Sevens, uh, what's the provincial Sevens, what's played at the Mount on the uh, 2nd of January. Uh, from there we uh, narrow our squad down to 12 and then um, off to the New Zealand Nationals at Queenstown and uh, what was two weeks ago. So the coaches are Roger Randall and also Waisaki Masarewa and Seven's got a bit of a reputation Ryan for you know getting you guys in pretty fit condition so no doubt those coaches put you through your paces. Yeah I mean it's, yeah, she's a pretty big job eh? we've got our trainer, trainer Toddy he works us so we can't walk anymore and yeah we're pretty flogged after each training. So what makes you do this year in and year out? You've played 61 games now for Waikato, so that's a few seasons on the about. You must really love it, or do you just love getting those abs and you know during the summertime so you can pray it on the beach? Yeah, well that's pretty much it. Uh, it uh, keeps us in good good shape, and I suppose it ba helps balance out when when you're drinking so much diesel over the summer. It's it's a good balance. Eh? It keeps you in all right shape. Good stuff, mate. Now, now, Foxy, the big tournament, obviously, is the one down at Queenstown, and I noticed that you guys had some pretty good weather down there this year, but um, how'd the tournament go for the boys? Yeah, mate, the boys um, put in for each other, Kent, eh? Like they, uh, they really tried hard and worked hard for each other. Um, obviously, uh, just had that disappointment. We couldn't quite get the chocolates there at the end and uh, uh, losing to Auckland an extra time. Um, you know, five minutes of extra time in the semis, and uh, I think we held onto the ball for, for three of them and unfortunately turned it over and uh, they scored at the other end. But uh, no, like they had to make a lot of tackles. Um, we had close games against firstly Wellington with a 28-12 victory, uh, Northland with a 19-12 victory, um, and then uh, unfortunately we finished pool play with a, with a loss to counties, but uh, pretty well uh, Rog and Ski sort of arrested some of the key boys and uh, played some of uh, the reserves. And then on the second day, uh, a great win in the, uh, in, the set, in the quarter, sorry, versus Harbour, 19-12, and then unfortunately uh, the close loss to Auckland in the semis. So Ryan, as a player, mate, in all seriousness, what is appealing about the Sevens game and why do you play it? Oh, it's, it's a bit more laid back than the 15s thing and it's just a bit more exciting, I think, and it's good you know, playing, playing with the boys, though. it's just good fun. And does it put you in good stead fitness-wise for your 15s season, which is coming up? Uh, yeah, it does, but I think you have a fairly decent blowout after when it's all over, so it might get you more back to square one but and how are your performances during these tournaments yeah they were, they were right I think it varied a bit um, I'm an old fella so I'm all right at the start of the start of the tournament but by the end of it I'm fairly fairly flogged so yeah so you've got some good sevens players there you've got Tim Mickelson for example Joe Weber who's recently made the New Zealand sevens team must be great to play with those types of guys also Frank Hello who who's played for New Zealand also yeah, yeah, it is good eh, have, having them. They um, usually chime in at the at in the final tournament. So yeah, it's we, it's good to play with them at the at the end day, eh, and they they always add something. So Foxy, who's made the New Zealand squad for this year? There's a 30 man squad that got named at the end of the Queenstown tournament. Yeah, they go. Who made it? They go into uh, camp tomorrow, Kent. Actually, uh, Frankie Harloy, Timmy Mickelson, uh, Glenn Robinson, young Joey Weber, as you mentioned earlier, straight out of Boys High. Um, also, uh, Sevens uh, veterans, I suppose to speak now. John O'Marlo, who's been with us since 2009. Uh, it's great for Puka to make the side. You know, well deserved. Um, and also, Steve Ketu got uh, called in yesterday. Um, and for Steve, uh, he's a bit like me, chair. Like he's, uh, you know, he's a Sevens veteran. He's been around since uh, 2008, and he's played uh, 78 games for for a province so for Kitts he's your captain as well for him to make it uh, it's a huge buzz for him and, and we're very proud as a management team that, that he's made it as well. Mate that's great now where to now for the Sevens boys that's it for the 2012 season isn't it so you guys will pretty much 
wait, play your 15 aside over the winter and head back into it right next October, November. Yeah, pretty well so, Kent. Now, that's the unfortunate thing with the New Zealand Nationals. Like, uh, we came so close and now we've got to wait for another 12 months before we get another crack. But, uh, yeah, pretty well now the tournaments don't start. Club tournaments again uh, late October, early November. Uh, and then we all go again. But, uh, you know, it's a long wait. Um, unfortunately, you know, there's some very dis um, bitterly disappointed lads this year because they, uh, as Michi said, they really uh, worked hard for each other this year. Uh, but they can be proud of their efforts and, um, you know, we'll put that in the back of the mind and, uh, and attack it again in uh, 12 months' time. And for you, Ryan, that's pretty much your Sevens campaign over and done with. The only thing that you have to look forward to now is the Wellington Sevens in a couple of weeks. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to that. Um, it's undiscussed what I'm going as, but... Um we turn up on the down there and we dress up in whatever we're given and we'll see how that goes. That's great, mate. And who are you playing your club rugby for this year? I'm unsure yet, actually. Um, I'm still on the market. <laughs> so I'm talking turkey with a few people. OK. We'll see what happens. Great to see, great to see. there's, there's, there's great loyalty. Yeah. There, uh, really there's, sport, so. there's great loyalty at club level in there, obviously. So... No, all good. Hey, thanks very much for coming on the show, Ryan. Good luck for this year, mate. And also, Foxy, thank you. Always a hard worker, and keep up the good work, mate. Well, that's the end of it here at Waikato Stadium. Uh, the lawnmower is actually going to come out. He's a bit disappointed because we didn't uh, book the ground today, but um, we'd better get off here quick smart. But next week on the show, we're going to have Paul Shattuck, the Waikato Rugby Union Marketing Manager, who's going to be talking about season memberships. Thanks very much.